fucking game, game is this third man. One hundred and twenty-five pound championship fight. in the black trunk, trunk black, black tight trunks, trunks with, with the tattooed, tattooed arm. Atkinson, Atkinson in, the in the black surf shorts, shorts with, the, with the blonde hair. hair. Right, right hand misses there from Manabat. Also, also switch, switch to the southpaw, south back, back to the orthodox. Trading, Trading leg, leg kicks, kicks here early. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little Superman punch there, there attempted by Atkinson. Atkinson. Front, Front kick, kick there from Desmond Manabat. Desmond's really doing a good job staying in the space. Good leg check. check. Saw him stifle, stifle the distance there on that, there on that kick. kick. Controlling, Controlling the position, position of the cage. Desmond, Desmond Monobot is taking oh. oh. nice, nice right, right hand. He sneaks over the defense, defense of Austin, Austin Atkinson. He felt, he felt that, that one. one. Corner, Corner is urging, urging Desmond, 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 Desmond to keep pushing. Says Austin, Austin did not, not like that right hand. That left kick actually got into the body. Another right hand lands there. And Atkinson elects to wrestle, try and clinch. Nice work, nice work by Monobot exiting. Nice, nice left hook, hook there, there on the switch, switch stance. stance. I really, I really like the way Desmond's mixing, mixing up his mixing approaches. approaches. Stop, stop, stop take, take down. Atkinson goes, goes for the outside, outside trip, trip there. there. Monobot shrugs it off. Atkinson tries, tries to catch a kick. kick. Monobot spins, spins out of it. Another body kick. Desmond Monobot aggressive with the strike in here early. Looks great. High energy. Measuring. Measuring. Tell you what, Zach, he, got he got his timing, timing early, early and he cut, cut it uh, aggressively in this fight. In this fight. We're, not We're not even a minute, even minute in. in. He's he's Austin's Austin off another takedown take attempt there. Austin's, Austin's going to want to set those shots, shots up with something better. better. He, he, going, going in a blind and shooting from too far like that. Desmond looks ready for those. Wild uppercut attempt there from Austin Atkinson. Left, left hook, right, right hand, twice, twice in a row there from Monobot. There's, there's a nice, nice double leg attempt from Austin Atkinson. Monobot is able to get back to the cage. Got the, got the legs spread out, out and here's, here's a reap. Excellent, Excellent takedown defense, defense so far from Desmond, Desmond Monobot. Atkinson lands a right hand on the exit. Desmond, Desmond. Austin's, Austin's got to get some respect from Desmond. He's just walking him down every time. So, so far, no, no answer, answer from, from the biggest, biggest visitor. There's, There's a 10-second 10 10 clap, clap 10, 10 seconds, seconds remaining here in the first, first round of this, of this featherweight, featherweight amateur, amateur bout. bout. Nice, nice defense, defense there, there, little head movement from Desmond Monobot. Man, Desmond's, Desmond's really impressed me throwing a lot of feints, and, and then when he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes and they're landing. Excellent striking display. Again, you take a fight on short notice, you take a fight... When you're, when you're coming off, off of a, a, a grief-stricken grief situation, like you just mentioned, with the recent, with the recent passing of his father, father, it's hard to know what the early, early portion, portion of the fight is going to look like, like because, because the focus, focus and things like that. that. But there's no, no question that Desmond Monobot came in here ready, ready to throw, throw down. down. His cardio looks, looks great. Um, not breathing, breathing very hard. hard. He looks cold. He's over in his corners. corners. He's taking some advice. Austin, you know, he's going to have to take some advice here from his corner and alter his behavior. Game plan, plan a little bit and, and, and fix some things because Desmond's, Desmond's cruising, cruising right now. Right now. Well, well, I thought you, you, you kind of hit it on the head. If you're going to attempt to wrestle, wrestle. you've got, you've got to, to throw something, something in the face of the striker, of the striker so, he's so he's got to address, address that, that before he can, he can sprawl, sprawl, right? right? Some, some nice, nice uh, toe, toe prints are showing up on Austin's rib cage from Desmond's body kicks. Not only with the roundhouse body kicks, but he landed a couple of nice teeps. Front kicks there. Desmond Monobot has given us a really well-rounded display, display of striking. Of striking. Round, Round two, two underway, underway here, here at the at Maverick, Maverick Center, Center in West Valley City. City. Will, Will Power, Power Show brought, brought to you by, by Fierce Fighting, Fighting Championship. Championship. In there for, for Monobot. I'll give, I'll give Austin, Austin credit this. this. Got a got chick chin.
just seems, seems like, like every, every time, time Austin, Austin tries to go for a takedown, Desmond's ready. Was good, good, good speed, speed very, very aware, aware of the strikes, strikes coming his way. way. So, so far, his takedown defense has been, been impenetrable. impenetrable. Catch, catches a kick, right hand, hand, hand back, and this, and this time, time it's, 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 it's Austin, Austin who has, has to avoid, avoid the takedown. The and the way, the way the Austin's, Austin's dipping his head, head coach, coach might be might looking, looking for an uppercut, uppercut here soon. Austin, Austin just seems to be ducking his head blindly a lot. Atkins corner, corner asking, asking for him to move, to move his feet, feet a little, little bit more. more. Some, Some looping punches, punches here. here. The, the speed, speed difference in these striking exchanges, exchanges is, is evident through about, about a round and a half, Zach. Yeah, yeah, and you always worry about, about that. Big, big spinning back fist. Excellent. Take a knee there from Austin Atkinson. Pulling, pulling something else out of the toolbox. And now, and now he's got Mata back against the cage. Maybe a little bit stunned from that back fist and a nice left hook to follow it. Bonobot blinks, blinks it away, appears to be recovered. recovered. In, he inside leg kick and a right, right hand misses. Very, Very composed. composed, I like, I like that. that. You feel, you feel a little hurt? hurt? Clinch, Clinch it up. Get, get, get your composure back. Any time a fighter misses weight, you have to look at where their cardio is at. They had a rough weight cut, struggling weight weight, didn't quite get there. Sometimes it can affect their cardio in the performance cage the next night. Foot stop attempt there, there from, Atkinson. from Atkinson. You're playing, you're playing a long, long game if you're, if you're trying to get the foot stops in. And I don't know if there's, there's enough time left in this fight, fight for that to be really significant. significant. That shows up to the least. It shows the judges you're working, working towards, towards something. something. I mean, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're Austin, Austin at this point, you've you got to be looking that you're for sure down one round. You're doing whatever you can to make sure you're not going to the third round down two. So you so start asking, asking for a little more action against the cage. Against the cage. We got Des we've got Des Des Desmond Monobot, tight, tight overhook. overhook. Atkinson, Atkinson not able to put enough work, work there in the control, control position. position. And, and another, another body, body kick from Monobot. A little, little Superman, Superman punch. punch. Fatigue, Fatigue starting, starting to show on both fighters. fighters. Kind, of kind of a side, side kick there to the torso. Boston Atkinson. Atkinson. Another takedown take attempt, attempt. And this time, yes. Atkinson yes. is able to get him out of down to the ground. ground. Very, Very late, late in the round, round and there's the whistle. The horn. The horn. Yeah. yeah, we, we you, know, you know, don't, don't, don't know if, uh, if, if that uh, was, was enough to win, to win the round, round but that, that round was definitely, was definitely a lot closer, closer than the first. first. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and look, it shows some strategic awareness. Good list of your coaches. If a round is close, you can get a takedown in the last 10 seconds. Oftentimes, that's enough to sway the judges. We might be looking at one piece on the scorecards. If I'm Desmond Mata being, being a visitor, visitor from, out from out of town, I'm definitely, definitely coming, coming out here in the third round expecting that I'm going to have very, very best, best tied, tied on the card. As so, 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 somebody that's fought for a title before, before this is a five round fight. Oh, oh excuse me, you're, you're right. You know what I mean? I forgot you've got to be a little bit of pace in here. I forgot because of this weight that this is still a five round fight. Excuse me, we're only at the halfway point just yet. Thank you for the reminder. Five three minute rounds here of amateur well. Uh, uh, feather feather weight action. action. And, and, and look, pacing, pacing, as you mentioned, pacing is a different animal in a five-round fight, but it's also a different animal. Austin's tired. He's got his hands up on his head. The surrender cobra, I think they call that sometimes. You can't show that kind of weakness in a mixed martial arts cage. I shouldn't should say, say you can't. can't. It, might it might not be advisable. Ill advised. Ill advised. Maybe, that's, Maybe that's a better way to, way to put it. Put it. Start, Start around, around number three, three here. Back, back, to, back to the feeling out process, process on the feet. feet. Monobot throws, throws a teep. teep. Switch, switch the little, little left hand, hand there from Austin, Austin Atkinson. Atkinson. Oh, oh, oh. Desmond's gone away from those body kicks a little bit. Well, once, well, once you've been, been taken, taken down, down by the wrestler, wrestler it, gets it gets a little, little bit more nerve-wracking to, to lift your feet off the mat. mat. Nice, nice defense, defense there by Monobot, who switches stances. Jumping, Jumping short, short right there, there from Monobot. And, and the straight, straight left hand, hand lands. Good deep defense, defense by Desmond on that, on that coming in. Oh, oh, and now knocked out the mouthpiece. 
I was his corner, corner, I would be looking to throw that uppercut if I put that way the way the Austin gets his head down. I tell you what, sometimes a fighter's record is not indicative of their skill. This man, according to the notes in front of me, has a losing record in amateur mixed martial arts action. His skill set tells me something different as he lands another short check right. Well, well, I mean, I mean let's, let's not ignore, ignore the elephant in the room. COVID, COVID has made, has made a, big, a big, big impact, impact on, on fighters. fighters. And we are, we are going to see a difference, and I think all night, the fighters, fighters that were training through, through the COVID, when we weren't having fights, fights, and the ones that took the, took the time off. And Desmond, Desmond could, be could be a product of just, just getting some good time in the gym, gym not worrying about a fight camp for almost a year, and he's shown a lot of improvements. You're absolutely right. He's impressed me so far. Nice knee on the hit there. That one hurts. You see Atkinson taking a deep breath and a pause. In the, in the corner, corner of Monobot doing a great oh, job telling him this. Those, 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 those landed. landed. Another, Another team to, to the body. body. Atkinson, Atkinson is in trouble, trouble here. here. Catches, catches a kick and is able to get the takedown. Take that made, made very well. Saved, saved him. Here, here in the third round. round. Big, big takedown for Austin. Kind of shut, shut down, down the momentum that Desmond, Desmond was building. Monobot's corner calling for the left arm underhook. Nice work from the top there by Atkinson. But Monobot is able to recover his guard, get the butterfly back. Feet on the hips, and he kicks out of it. Excellent work to get back to the feet by Desmond Monobot. And I got to say, and I, you can't really see it because of the shorts difference with Austin, and I'm not sure where it's at. Desmond has some thick thighs. Absolutely. Powerful thighs, and those kicks are doing damage. But as long as he's on his back here, this is Austin's world, and this is where Austin wants the fight to take place. Monobot now two kicks in a row has been they've been caught and he's been taken down and I'll be curious to see if he can work back to his feet whether he goes back to the well of those body kicks nice defensive posture on the bottom excellent control on the top a stalemate here on the ground Austin Atkinson the Utah native on top of Desmond Monobot visiting from Las Vegas a few right hands rain down from the top there for Atkinson Finally getting some offense going from on the top. That's big for Austin. You know, securing those takedowns, that's great. It's going to look good for the judges. But you don't want to just lay there. you got to be active on top there. Absolutely. And the judges in this fight are veterans of the game. I told you Dave Selly said was our referee inside the cage. Cage side, judging this, Steve Farragher, Dan First, and Jeff Dutcher, all of these guys with a decade-plus experience judging fights. So if I'm the corner of Desmond Monobot, even though I'm the visitor, I'm the out-of-towner, I'm confident that that round went my way, but two takedowns that can sometimes sway judges. I, it, it, they, close rounds. First round very clearly went to Desmond. Round two and three, they, uh, a lot closer. A lot closer. When it's close, I never assume with judges. <laughs> Nor should you. I'm happy it's not my job to judge the fights. No, I, li I, I like this even much better. Much better. potential five. So you're getting into the championship rounds, and this is where they separate the amateurs from the pros, the men from the boys, however you want to say. We are in the championship round now. Let's give these fighters a big hand. And there it is again. Austin Atkinson, he's game still. But he's got the hands on the head. He's breathing deep. Touch of the gloves from these two competitors. Back in his southpaw stance, Monobot. And neither of these guys have been here before in a fourth or fifth round. So it's going to be interesting to see who's more composed. Body language-wise, I like Desmond's body language a lot more. He looks fresher. You can see the footwork there. It must have been a reminder from the corner that, hey, when you come, when you enter on those strikes, you got to make sure you got a plan to get back out because Atkinson is going to attempt to take down. If I'm Austin, that's my path to victory right now. Subtle switch of the stances back there. Now in the orthodox stance is Monobot. <laughs> Back to the southpaw stance he goes. The stance changes for Desmond Monobot have been subtle, Zach. He looks proficient in both. That right hand keeps landing. That front right hand keeps landing and landing hard. Yeah, it's, uh, it's halfway between a check hook and a jab, but it's landing, and that's what's important. 
Yeah, I like that. He just went across to the body there again. Keep beating up that body when you know that your opponent's tired. And to Atkinson's credit, he, he really saved himself with a takedown about midway through the third round. He had been in trouble with a, an accumulation of body shots. And you see there, the front arm drops to protect the body after that one lands, Zach. Absolutely. Nice knee as well. Now, dividends being paid on the body here. Desmond Monobot putting in work on the torso of Austin Atkinson. Oof. Good returning body kick there from Austin. Oh, There's that right hand again. Man, it's landing and it's landing clean. I'll give Austin this. He looks tired or whatever, but he's staying in there. He's eating those shots well, and he's staying composed. And again, what... We were questioning before the fight started whether or not he was going to be ready tonight because he missed weight. He's very clearly question. Absolutely. Austin showed a lot of heart in some of these situations. And good wherewithal to get the timely takedowns when he's needed to to stay in this fight. Yeah, he's very much in this fight. Tries to come in after a bit of a sloppy jab there. And now fatigue showing on both as the output is really decreased here in round number four, as can be expected sometimes in these championship rounds. Desmond's corner is just pleading with him to turn up the volume a little bit. Atkinson runs Monobot all the way to the cage. Monobot does a great job bouncing off, shrugging off the takedown attempt. Nearing the end of this fourth round, Desmond Monobot putting on a striking clinic, and Austin Atkinson wants to drag him back down to the ground. Austin's just le leaping with his punches a little bit too much and staying off balance. A striker with the acumen that Desmond is showing, he's just going to slip those. Four rounds now in the books. Atkinson may be conserving a little bit of energy in that round. We saw the output decrease quite a bit from both individuals. Monobot's corner, as you mentioned, he want, they want more. They want volume. And that might be the difference between getting a stoppage and seeing this one go to the judges' scorecards. Desmond looks good, composed, over in, his, over in his corner, listening to his coaches, talking to his coaches. He says he's good to go. Austin still looks tired, but he's still been in there. He, he, I mean, he's just fighting his fight right now, and I guess that's all you can ask. I'll tell point. you what, as someone who every fight of their career that went past the first round always looked tired, looking tired is not the same as being ready to quit. If you're just someone who puts out as much effort as you got in you, you're going to look tired. And Austin Atkinson is still very much in this fight. Absolutely. It, we, it, we may very well be looking at this as the deciding round. Because of those takedowns in rounds two and three, I could see the judges potentially giving both of those rounds to Austin Atkinson. I probably would have had three for Monobot. But if I'm the visiting corner, I'm not banking on that. I want to finish here in round number five. Austin has finished two fights via submission, the rear naked choke and a guillotine choke. If I'm Austin here, I am looking to get this to the ground and, and try and some ground and pound and submission to try and seal up a this, this win. Dave Selyusted starts him off for round number five here. Back to the center of the fierce fighting championships cage. Switch left hand there from Monobot. Desmond Monobot in the tight trunks. Austin Atkinson in the board shorts. Monobot says no, shakes it off. I've always heard when somebody shakes it off, it means that they got their attention a little bit. Well, if it landed, yes. That, none of those punches landed. I think he was just chastising. Scoop uppercut there landed, but the follow-up straight left hand did not. Monobot managing the distance here. Missed on both of those. Nice work by Atkinson to avoid a couple of big, heavy, looping punches. Good inside leg kick on the low calf. And when Desmond is reaching in and, and those big, looping punches, that's when Austin's had success with those takedowns, if he can get under him. I would like to see Austin be able to take a shot off of one of those. And he just seems like he's just backing up right now. There's another push kick from Desmond Monobot. He's had success with those, but he's also had a couple of them caught. Nice takedown attempt here from Atkinson. Can he finish it here in the fifth round? Set that one up a lot better than a couple of those blind ones. Tries to swap to the single leg. Monobot rewards him with a knee to the body for his efforts. That's one thing that's really interesting about Monobot. On all the entrances and exits, he's looking to score 
Another takedown attempt here by Atkinson. Good sprawl for Monobot. And a knee again to illustrate my point. And a hook on the way out. Monobot tells us it's a minute 10 left. Excellent work shrugging off another takedown attempt. Atkinson is looking discouraged as when you're a wrestler and you can't get your opponent down to the ground. It's a lot of expended energy for no reason. For no reward, I should say, not yeah. for no reason. Desmond slowing down quite a bit. His corner is pleading with him to go take this round. Nice side leg kick and a teep. Nice jab there from Atkinson. Half a minute remaining here in this featherweight title bout. Corner pleading for some output here from both men. Well, like you said, this could be very well be 2-2 going into this round. These are the moments that one of these guys could win and lose this fight right here. Interesting strategy here from Monobot. He's being very defensive in this round, successfully avoided all of the attacks. Nice knee to the body again from Desmond Monobot. Impressive finish on that knee. Dave Selly said has the official decision. Soon enough, Dave Selly said. Maybe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have rendered their decision. All three judges, Steve Berger, Dan Burson, and Jeffrey Dutcher, see this contest 50 45 for your winner, Manabot! And there was no reason for us to be concerned. Not only a unanimous decision there in the favor of Desmond Manabot, but these judges had him winning every round i could see hey everyone thank you so much for watching fierce fighting championship on youtube for more daily content make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss any of our daily fights podcast clips highlights as well as our full weekly podcast if you want to tune into one of our live shows go ahead and head over to fiercefightingchampionship.com